It's the first Frankenstein of the new year, 2024. Check this thing out. All right, most of what I want to show you is inside, but we'll stop here and show you things like rotted stair stringers, cracked stair stringers, your normal deck stuff. But as I came into this house, the first thing that I noticed was a very strong odor of mold. And we've got mold in the door frame all down through this wall cavity and this threshold is not attached. I see a lot of videos on mobile homes, manufactured homes, trailers, whatever you want to call them. But I'm going to show you some of the stuff that's typical for these homes and then I'm going to show you some of the hidden stuff that we found. So check it out. All right, I came in here to the kitchen and I noticed that the floor was sloping this direction. And I went over here and I noticed a huge soft area of the floor. Now, if you notice right here, you'll see plywood under the refrigerator. That's never a good sign because they put that plywood there usually because the floor is soft. But if you're wondering how soft the floor is, there's a sign. Now, in manufactured homes, they typically use a particle board subfloor, and it's usually very thin. And as you know, or may not know, uh, particle board doesn't hold up to moisture very well at all. So usually when there's any sort of water event in the home, whether it be a sink that overflows, whatever, um, the subfloor usually takes a beating, usually gets soft, gets weird and all that stuff. So that's one of the areas that manufactured homes typically kind of cheap out, it's on the subfloor. But it isn't just the soft subfloor that's a problem. I noticed the entire trailer was sloping. So if I put a, a level down, you'll see that it is not level. The whole trailer is leaning, and you can see it most notably on the counter. Okay, so basically this whole trailer is leaning that direction. Now one of the very typical things that we see in the older trailers is this gray piping, and we, we recognize these fittings right here, and this is called polybutylene. And if you look right there, that PB stands for polybutylene. Polybutylene piping is obsolete, they don't use it anymore, and it is known to have a very high failure rate. So, and if you're an inspector, make sure you call that out and let people know, because the truth is it's super inexpensive, easy, and straightforward to replace it with PEX, and PEX is fantastic stuff. All right, but it started getting worse. You'll notice this door doesn't close at all. It's actually hitting its binding up here because there's racking of the door frame. And I'm gonna show you back here in the bedroom the racking on the other side of the trailer that is even worse. If you notice this door latch, it doesn't even come close to lining up with the catch. And if you look up here, you'll see a giant gap in the door that gets smaller as you go. So that's racking and that means there's been some structural movement in the home. Now when I was coming over to test, uh, you know, check out the, the pressure tank and the pump switch, I noticed a sump pump sitting in a bucket. And, you know, obviously you see a clue like that and you're going, why is that here? And that's when I started looking real close down here towards the bottom. And you'll start to notice discoloration along the bottom of these walls. I don't know if you can see that or not. But there's definitely been some sort of flooding or something going on here. But it gets worse. I started working my way around. And what did I see? All the way around this house. You can see there's capillary action, there's water damage or staining down here. All right, now manufactured homes, we typically check around the front of tubs, sinks, you know, different areas. We look for soft flooring and we definitely have soft flooring here. I don't know if you can see how the crowning in this floor, let's see if I can show that to you. See where the light ends right there? There's like a big hump in the floor and all that corner right there sinks down and it's super soft and squishy. Now I flushed the toilet about eight times and that's the color of the water that keeps coming in. So that's definitely not good. But we also have a toilet that is not secured and it's gone squishy soft floor. Up here on the ceiling, we've got discoloration of moisture staining. You'll see some holes from my probe in there and uh, we definitely have found active moisture in the ceiling. Active moisture around the bathroom vent, which is also very common. A lot of times these vent, you know, the, at the flashing where the roof penetration is, 
you know, either the sealant or the collar, the storm collar, whatever's up there is usually inadequate. So we see that quite a bit, but watch this. This is where it gets really crazy. So I came in and I saw this box, which you guys know, I'm going to say, hmm, that's strategically placed. Let's look behind it. And of course, as soon as I did, I side lighted and I noticed some minor mold growth down behind this box. Came down the hallway. What do we see all the way along this hallway? Ew, a bunch more moisture staining. The wall's coming apart, more moisture. And then we got here to the closet. I opened this up. Everything looks pretty normal in the closet, right? But watch this. Ooh. There you go. The magic of the side light. Mold growth throughout the entire home. All the way down through here. Now it's crazy. When you look at it like this, that mold looks terrible. You can see how it's growing. You can see where it's blooming. And Anyway, you come back here. From here it looks normal. Now this is what I consider to be the worst part. Because this is every window in the house. I pulled back the drapes. Started noticing moisture damage. Watch this. Whoa, wow, that's terrible. Quick little distraction sidebar. Right here on the floor, pretty solid. Right here, ooh, that is not solid at all. There's no subfloor there at all. That's like carpet structure. Now up here, we have this weird little cubby and this weird shelf that I couldn't move. I was trying to move this. And I caught over here, next to this trim, there's actually a piano hinge behind there. I was like, oh, we got ourselves a nifty little panic room. Let's see if I can get this open. Good luck getting into that panic room. But sure enough, there we go. When a burglar comes in the house, you just run in here. And close this somehow, there's no handle. You have yourselves a perfect hiding spot. I'm a little baffled on that one. I'm thinking they might have hid their weed in there. Here's another window. Ooh, look at that. That is all moisture damage. That's a big bunch of nope. 2024 is off to a real bang.